and welcome to Smart Quiz Builder. In this video, I'll take you behind the scenes to show you different customization options that are available in Smart Quiz Builder. Now, most of the options in SQB are all customizable at quiz level. For example, this is one of my quizzes and you can see this is the start screen and everything that you see here, it's all click and edit. Here I'm using a GIF, but you can upload an image or you can just hide the image or uh, you can upload a video. So all of this can be customized at quiz level. And there is a button customizer here. You can see this button. This is the default color, but you can change the color. You can change the button width, the button height. So all of these can be customized uh, for each quiz and for each screen in the quiz. So the start screen, the question answer screen, you will find a customizer. You can adjust the width, you can adjust the height, you can adjust the image size, alignment, background color. All of this can be customized for each one of these screens. But there are a few settings that you need to customize at a global level. So you can do that in the settings page in the customizer tab. So most of the settings are customizable at quiz level, but there are a few buttons that you see here, like the next button, the retake button, progress bar, answer choice, background color, the correct incorrect answer, background color. So stuff like this you can customize here. And this is the global setting. Anything you change here will apply to all of your quizzes. So this is an assessment quiz. I'm going to click on take this quiz button and I have personalized this quiz. That's why it's showing this form here. I'm going to enter my name. All right. So you can see here there is a next button and it's showing up here because this is an assessment quiz. And in the back end, I have configured SQB to display correct and incorrect answers on each question screen. So after participants pick an answer and click on next, it's going to display the correct or incorrect answer here. That's why there is a next button and it does not take them to the next screen as soon as they uh, select an option. All right, so this next button that you see here can be customized in the back end. Let me show you how you can do this. So you will find button customizers in the Smart Quiz Builder settings page under customizer tab. And you can see here there's a next button customizer. So you can change the default color, you can change the width and the height. Similarly, a retake button uh, that's going to show up if you want to allow users to retake the quiz and you can change the colors for this. And you can see there is a progress bar customizer as well. So let me show you this in the front end. You can see here there is a progress bar which is showing at the top. I have configured SQB to display a progress bar at the top. And you can do this in the quiz settings. So this is the quiz we are looking at in the front end. And you can see under the display settings, I have set show progress bar to yes. That's why the progress bar is showing here. And the customizer for the progress bar is in the settings page under customizer tab. So under settings, customizer, you can customize the colors. This is a global setting. You can change this for every quiz. So you can change this to whatever color you want and it will take effect for all of your quizzes in the front end. Same thing with the next button, the retake button, and also the answer choice background color. Let me show you what this is. Now I'm going to click the next button here to go to the next question. So this is the default background color of each answer choice that you can see here. And you can change this right here. Okay. You can change it to a different color. And you can also see when it's active, the color changes to a darker shade of blue and you can change this as well in the back end. All right, so correct, incorrect background color customizer. Now this is for the final result screen. So let me show you what this means. I'm going to complete the quiz. All right, so I'm going to opt in and it's showing me the first name because I have personalized this quiz and I already got the first name in the first screen. So it's pre-populating that, get started. All right, so here you can see the correct and incorrect answers are showing up here. In the display settings of this quiz, I have said display correct answer after each question and also on the final results page. That's why it's showing it on the final results screen. And uh, this is configurable at quiz level. So let me go back here in the front end. It's showing the correct and incorrect answers. So you can see the background color for correct and incorrect answers. They are different and you can customize it in the settings page right here. So you can change these default colors to something else. Again, these are global settings. So if you change it here, it will take effect in the front end for all of your quizzes. So now let me show you how you can customize your messages. So same place, settings, and under the customizer, you will find a customize messages tab. And we have these messages right now. All of these messages are displayed in the front end and all of these can be customized and we will be adding a lot more as we go. So this is what we have right now, but this is going to change and you will see a lot more customization options 
um, as we continue to add more features to SQB. So these are the customization options. Let me quickly show you the personalization that I did and how I did that. So in the settings tab under advanced quiz settings right here, you can select your quiz. So you can see here I have selected my quiz and I have enabled personalization option here. Do you want to ask for first name before the quiz screen pops up? And I have said yes. So now you can see this is the screen that they are going to see in the front end. It looks like this because this is the template I have selected for the quiz. So it will take the same border color uh, that you have for your quiz. So in the back end of that quiz, I had selected template two that comes with that kind of border. Anyway, so this is the message and you can change it to whatever you want. This is customizable at quiz level. So you can select your quiz, personalize the message and go ahead and save it. You can, and then when you create your quiz in the questions tab, you can see I have personalized the quiz using first name. And you can use this merge tag uh, in your lead generation screen as well, right here. And you can use it in the outcome screen like this. So you can fully personalize your quiz and create a great experience for your participants. If you have any questions, let me know. I have a Facebook group. You're welcome to join the group or you can open a support ticket if you have any support issues. My name is Pina Prashant. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.